Hi guys and welcome to um, Relaxing Monday again. Today it is part three of my um, little uh, Lego spaceship build that we've been doing. And um, there's one last bag left, so it looks like we're going to be able to finish the whole setup today, which will be really, really awesome. I've really, really enjoyed making this. Um, this has been really fun. I really do enjoy making Lego and stuff like that. But as I've said before, um, I don't really have anywhere to put the finished models and Lego is kind of expensive, so I haven't done it a whole bunch. So this has been a treat for me and I hope it's felt like kind of a treat for you. But anyway, let's uh, get back down to the table. Okay, so here's where we uh, left off last time. You can see we've got basically, you know, it's like a, the ship shape, right? <laughs> ship shape. Um, get rid of the number two instruction booklet. Where is it? Get the number three instruction booklet and the bag. Okay. Right. So, we begin with, all right, hang on, one piece of paper. Sorry, more pieces to take, more bags to open. Put our little guy here so that he can keep you guys company. Right, so, we need two flat um, orange strips and they are going to go over the uh, blue parts here now um, we're going to put a white strip across there and two blue slopes on top. All right, so this is a one by six across there and the blue slopes go here and here. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the um, lawnmower outside, <laughs> but there's, there's really not too much I can do about that. Um, then we have another two slopes to put on top of here, I guess to finish the uh, rounded shape of the, uh, would you call that a chassis? If anyone has good knowledge of spaceships and stuff, please do let me know. <laughs> would you use terms like you would for a, um, for a, like a, a, a ocean ship when it's a space ship, like the bow and the stern and the port and stuff like that? Like, would you, would you for this kind of thing? I feel like I've heard. Um, I feel like I've heard it be said like that in sci-fi, but obviously, you know, sci-fi is not sci-fi is not real life, <laughs> so it's probably treated completely differently. Okay, so then we put in this little white block with a hole. Sorry, yellow block with a hole in it inside this grey um, corner block, and that goes on top of there. You can see. Um, and then we're using these two um, round corner white pieces to make an archway. Um, that archway is going to be just over where we put the uh, white piece there. Oh, and then that I think is making like, it's beginning to really show the main shape of like the hull of the ship. Again, I'm using words like hull as if that's the correct thing, but I think that like, <laughs> hull is probably the right word to use here, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know. I do. <laughs> I do sincerely want to be corrected if I'm if I'm saying things wrong. Okay, now we need to find two black pieces like this that have sort of like a monitor on the front of them, and we've got them. They are going just behind what I think is going to end up being the cockpit, and they go just here. So you can see there's like some um, information terminals right here. Can you see those? 
in like the body of the ship, just here. And then we're going to use some, um, right, here we go. Yeah, we've got some four by one bricks and we're going to, um, yeah, here we go. Place those at the back here. Cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, so um, what are we going to... Here we go. So let's um, place down... We've got like another corner piece. We're putting a black sort of um, ridged piece inside it. And then uh, on this side, a flat white tile. And then on there, a sticker, sticker number three. Sticker number three. Oh, what way up? Okay, that way up. Okay, cool. This way up. Lovely. And then that goes on top of the other monitors here. So you can see there's a really kind of computery room going on in there. Lots of information and data. Oh. Okay, and then above this section, we are going to be making a, another archway through these uh, white corners. Remember that piece? Wasn't too long ago, you absolutely should. Uh, here we go, put those over there like that. Um, and then we're also going to, by the looks of it, put um, white grill pieces on here and here. And then a, a small, uh, not too steep, white slope on top of here. Um, so it's facing that way. Cool. Okay. Now, white pieces, uh, white strips at the front, so a six by one strip and a two by one strip. Uh, so these two by one strips like that at the front. And then the six by one strip piece across the front there, which I think is to uh, measure off the cockpit. And then we're going to take a this kind of sculpted piece and also two um, little glass pieces. Uh, they're not made of glass, you know, they're just, I think, made to look like, um, you know, they're like clear blue. And then that's all going on the front here. There we go. Right. Okay, so now we're making what appears to be kind of a um, control panel to go in our cockpit area, or the bit that we think is the cockpit. So let's, um, oh, I just readjusted my legs here. It's made out of this uh, blue corner piece. Um, we will, uh, and then we put a piece of like the uh, clear blue and also a little um, piece with a printed control panel on it. There we go, underneath. And so then we have this kind of like little control panel. Can you guys see that? See the glass on top and the controls underneath which I guess is maybe used to fly the ship. We'll see. Okay, and then we have a little, very, very, um, what, what's the opposite of steep? Shallow? I don't know, but a not very 
steep archway here just to cover this control panel at the front. And there's that done. And now we have some little two-step arched sculpted pieces to be the walls of the cockpit. Here we go. You can see here it's sort of creating, it's building up the wall here with a nice little piece of glass there. Wouldn't be airtight, but with that little piece of glass there, but you know. Um, oh, and then now we just have a whole sculpted piece, which is the uh, nose of the ship. And that, by the looks of it, just plonks right on top there. Oh, now it's really coming together, isn't it? You've got like the nose of the nose of the ship there, the windows and stuff. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's keep on rolling. Lots to do. Now we're putting a little uh, white, um, I guess, is that a trapezoid type shape? Um, might just be getting too big for my boots there. Oh, here we go. Some removable pieces of, oh, so this is gonna open up and out. Okay, right. So these pieces, these two pieces here connect together on this side. Oh, you'd think there would be more of these so the whole thing can connect and open up, but I don't see any more of them. That's odd. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> oh no, wait, yeah. They're just covered by other pieces. <laughs> I wonder if you guys saw those before I did. So, um, yeah, now it's telling us to add those to the um, opposite side. Oh, that's really cool. So the whole thing can open up. <laughs> Hope there's an airlock. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and then we lock those two adjoining pieces together so they open together by the looks of it. Well, that's cool. So it opens as as one. Cool. Oh, no, wait, I've put that in the wrong place. Uncool, uncool. It goes up the front like that. Okay. And then at the back, we have some little white pieces of uh, gray. There we go. So now that, oh, you've got like a bit there to grip, which is quite useful. And it all opens together. How cool is that? It's really, really cool. Okay, and now on the very end on the tail, we're going to put a kind of double length upside down piece that we've got here. And that's going to um, be connected by these like sort of um, white slopes. I'm gonna go on top here. There we go. Oh, the shape of this is really, really coming together now. I really love, I love the black and white as well. It's pretty iconic, isn't it? Like you know what it is as soon as you see it. Ah, okay. And then the last piece this way up goes on there a white tile to cover up some remaining uh, spare studs on top there. Okay, and now it's telling me I need to flip the whole thing over like that. And on the underside here, I'm going to put a little blue piece. I'm not sure what the function of this is because it's just a little dome. Maybe it's to help it slide around a playing surface or something like that, right? Maybe. And then, um, oh yeah, now we're adding wheels to it. So now I make four little sets of wheels. Two, one, two, three. And where are you? There we go, and four. Okay, so then I put those uh, 
on each end of this grey piece here. Make sure they're all facing the same way or it's not going anywhere fast. And another piece there. I do wonder what the function of this blue piece is because the wheels hold it higher than the blue, right? So what's the blue part for? Who knows? Now, here we go. This one, oh, whoops. This one goes over on the very end end. There we go. And so now we turn this back over and here we go. This and this, these two parts here are going to attach to their respective hinges either side of the um, hull here. Ooh. And that folds in like that. Oh, that fits perfectly, doesn't it? That's even got like, bingo. See, isn't that good? And then I guess it can be opened there for repairs and stuff for the, the gold teeth in there. So it can be, you know, repaired or something like that, opened up. Okay. Now, did I miss anything on the previous page? Nope. Nope. Okay, on the ends of the wings, we're going to add some sort of overhang uh, corner pieces here. Uh, there we go one there and where's the other one here we go one there goes on the end okay oh it gives that nice kind of like um is that not tapered but like you know it's got bits on the end it just gives it a better shape i guess it's is it aerodynamic is that what i'm trying to think of we neaten that up with some arches on the end to cover the piece we just attached and also probably to help it stay on And uh, oh, it moves very nicely now. It's got the now it's got the wheels on beautifully. Okay, and now we're going to make some um, looks like pieces to go on the ends of the wings. We've got some uh, uh, these white nose shaped kind of pieces, and they both need a sticker. Sticker number six. Okay. So then, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Might have made a bit of a slight placement error the first time. Hope that doesn't affect the long-term sticky, stickiness. <laughs> Put these on in opposite directions, hoping that then they'll both be upright. Okay, right, there we go, beautiful. Now inside each of these we put a little angled piece, an angled red piece, so that um, some clear orange pieces can be attached to the outside, like this. And then these pieces, like this, which are now opposites because I did the stickers very cleverly, they will stick to the ends of the wings like so. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it looks so spacey. That's such a dumb thing to say about a spaceship, but you know what I mean. Like it's starting to look very sci-fi. I'm into it. I love me some sci-fi. Okay. Oh, we're getting so close now, you can just tell. There is quite a thick wedge of the, um, yeah, quite a thick wedge of the book left. Oh, we preempted this page. It's just telling us to do the other wing. Okay, and we have another piece to add. Um, so this is going to be, start off with this black nose shaped piece, put a pegged two by one block at the end a little blue two by one strip on top of that. And then on top of this piece altogether, the white to make this 
nose shape. And then on the back of that, we are adding what looks to be some kind of a wheel piece. That's getting a, uh, oh wait, needs a peg put inside it. And then on the end of that peg, we're putting, here we go. So we've got kind of like a light or something, it seems like, doesn't it? Maybe I guess this is again, like another jet or something, but um, that goes on the back of this piece here. So then this piece is finished and it spins. And this then it seems is just attaching to attaching to one of these uh, flaps. I don't know exactly um, where to, I guess I'm gonna put mine on the uh, uppermost edge. If it will go on, it doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, that seems to be correct. Okay, so then I guess next step is going to be making another one of those. Oh, not yet. Apparently we're going to be putting something else on there first. Okay, so now we're going to add stickers to one of these, an eight and a nine. It's like it's some sort of little Mars logo, it seems. Eight and nine. Awesome. Yeah, and then we're gonna repeat the whole process again for the other side. So this just sticks on top of that piece. It would appear, um, I think overlapping the back. No, not overlapping the back. Overlapping the front a little. Okay. And then we do it again for the other side. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Now we're going to here we go, sticker this piece so it has the Beautiful. Press that onto there. And then pull this out so that we can attach that onto there. Right. Yeah, we did that piece already, knowing what we were up to. We're done. Now take this off the front, put our little dude in there, our little pilot. Oh, <laughs> I won't go back down, there we go. And we're done, we finished it. Isn't that cool? I love that these engines as well are like, you know, movable. You can bring them right out like that if you wanted to sort of change configuration. It does look a little bit like a, like sci-fi, doesn't it? Like a space fighter or something. I don't know, it's really cool. So then in the total we had uh, this, the whole um, ship thing. Um, we have, um, this, the little um, sort of rover thing that we built that has the um, grabbing arm on it, and also a little, um, a little, uh, what's it called, a drone. Then these kind of like Mars rocks to excavate, and this kind of, um, I guess, 
I assume those are rocket powered things, but like a little supply drop box and also a astronaut for the um, in a spacesuit. So that's um that that's it. <laughs> that was really fun, and I really really enjoyed making that. I um I may have to get another one. I think I don't know. <laughs> if you guys um. Want to see any more relaxing videos i'll link to a playlist at the end of some other sort of relaxing videos i've done and also the other parts of this little build um you'll be able to see the previous episodes as well so i hope you um enjoyed watching this and spending a bit of time with me as much as i sort of enjoyed making it it was really fun and really calming it was a nice and relaxing way to spend my morning and um yeah i will see you guys next time okay bye <laughs>